Good morning, my friend. I am one week into my journey halfway across the USA in my no-built minivan camper. It's my last day driving through the mountains of West Virginia, and it's time to move on to Tennessee. Our goal today is to find out how much gas I use driving my Toyota Sienna weighing in at its max rating. This Toyota Sienna has a gross vehicle weight rating of 5,995 pounds, plus a maximum towing capacity of 3,500 pounds. Last week, the Sienna weighed 6,300 pounds pounds with the trailer. The trailer's axle weight came in at 900 pounds, leaving 5,400 pounds in the minivan, adding 300 pounds for my daughter and I, and inside of the Sienna is around 5,700 pounds. For this test, I will drive about 10% back roads and then almost 300 miles on the interstate. I plan to move along with the flow of traffic and I won't be doing anything extreme like drafting big rigs or going 50 and a 70. For my Canadian and international national friends one u.s standard pound is 0.454 kilograms and one mile per hour is about 1.6 kilometers per hour we agree on a lot of things just not the units of measure eh? the road to Tennessee and the real question is should we get coffee or gas first you guys knew it was gonna be coffee first I'll have a large coffee please yep. large coffee I'm gonna make a quarter is it good yes it's good gas is five dollars a gallon so this trip is going to be kind of expensive, but it'll be totally worth it. I think with the Sienna driving, I'm going to use about a little over one tank of gas a day. So I'm filling up now. The morning's just starting and we'll fill up again as we get closer to Tennessee. One of the reasons all these McDonald's signs always end up in the background in my videos is they just happen to be near all the gas stations on the interstate. Are right, you ready to hit the road? Yeah. Okay. You've been sleeping in the van for almost a week now. Yes. Does this feel like a big camping trip to you? Uh, yeah, kind of. I mean, in camping you sleep outdoors, and we're not sleeping outdoors. Okay, so, have you been getting cold at night? Um, yeah, like two times. The first time I put on the blanket, the second time I dealt with it. Have you been getting scared at night in the van? Um, no, actually. <laughs> Has that light come in handy? Um, actually, yeah. Sometimes. I love this trip. We've been clearing some miles today, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, it's time for a break, right? Yep. I figured now would be the best time to check these hubs, so I haven't checked them on this trip yet. 103, 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Not too bad. These things usually run up to about 110, but it's a little cooler than I expected today. Good, perfect. In 300 feet, turn left onto Sanders Street. Can I just get a large coffee and then a 10 piece McNugget, please? Would you say barbecue? Yep. Barbecue. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. Y'all have a nice day. Thank you so much. All right, here's the food for you. Here's that large coffee. For awesome. You. Thank no you so much. No sugar. Nope, good. All righty, you have a good night. You too, thank you. Okay, so we just got gas. I filled up. I went 317 miles in the Sienna and I bought 16.4 gallons of gas. So I popped that in the calculator and I'm getting about 19.3 miles per gallon with this trailer behind me. So with the trailer, I do have a full weight ticket and the vehicle right now weighs about 6,000 pounds. So I'm actually feeling pretty good with getting about 20 miles per gallon with the trailer and with the van fully loaded. So I've got to my destination, which is just over the Kentucky state line, and I saw something I wanted to show you. Check it out. It's a pink elephant. <laughs> and then you drive a quarter mile down the road and it's a giant cow. And even crazier is this cow has pink sunglasses on. So that pink elephant and that giant cow were just too funny. I had to stop and show you. If you like my content, be sure to give it a thumbs up. 
and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next adventure.